Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller and today I wanted to give you a little bit of an update um, for this storage unit that I purchased. Um, again, don't mind my desk. I say this all the time. Everything's always like a mess of stuff going in, going out, getting listed, getting put away. Uh, anyhow, so back in the beginning of August, I purchased a storage unit for $200. Um, I basically uh, went in hoping that there were more collectible holiday items because the thing I could see in the picture was um, Reagan from um, The Exorcist. And I was hoping she was in the box. She was. Listen, if you guys have not watched the storage unit video, I am going to link it down below so you can take a look at that first if you'd like. Anyway, I went through um, basically the surface of the stuff while I was cleaning it out on, on camera for you guys. Uh, but once I got back here to the warehouse, I did find some other things. Um... I found like a Stife Snowman that still has not sold yet. Um, a bunch of different, a bunch of different stuff, honestly. And I still have about um, probably three boxes left. Um, some of it, you know, I got rid of. Some stuff was just literally, you know, junk. Um, but I do still have some left. I have like three boxes left. Um, which I think I'm going to take most of it to the flea market. There are a lot of items that I think will sell there pretty well, but there are also a couple like animatronic figures that I'm going to do a little bit more, um, research on and see if I want to list them on eBay or if I want to take them to the flea market, which I will be probably doing within the next month. So I need to get that figured out very, very soon and get the rest of that stuff, um, out of there. Anyway, I have had some really, really phenomenal sales from what I already sold. So let's get to it. I'm going to switch over here to the computer and show you guys what I've sold so far from this $200 storage unit. Alrighty, guys. So let's get into this real quick. So the first thing that sold out of the storage locker was this Rushton Pink Santa. Now... This guy, I was so stoked for this. This guy got 20 bids. Um, I forget what I started it at. Uh, maybe, I don't remember. But anyhow, this guy had some wear and tear, some discoloration, some surface marks. Um, as you can see, like look at his boots. Um, but he is rare. The pink Rushton is rare. There's also, I believe, a green and maybe a yellow. I think they were once store displays. So these are, these are rare. So yeah, I was so excited. This guy ended up selling for $510 plus shipping. He went to Australia through the global shipping program. So the next item that sold is uh, Reagan from The Exorcist. Now her head would not completely spin around. It did get stuck. I did show a video Um let me see if I can enlarge this and play the video for you. See, it got stuck. <laughs> it was supposed to go all the way around, but did it. Now, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Trying to exit this. Okay, here we go. So anyhow, though, super freaking cool. So even with that little issue, uh, I figured someone would be able to fix it. So I listed her at $300. Um, buy it now, not in auction. And I had a couple people offer me, you know, 100, 175. And I knew that she would go higher um, I knew she would sell for three, especially coming up with, um, you know, the holiday coming up and everything, uh, because some of them in mint condition have sold for five, 500 or more. So I was super happy. She sold relatively quickly. I think within 
Oh, geez. I think within like two weeks, not even, not even two weeks. Um, and went to New York city and the buyer was super happy with her. So next item that sold and this guy, I wasn't even sure if I was going to list because he had some major issues. I, let me see if I can show you, um, this photo right here, right in this section. I don't know what kind of material he was made of, but he was crumbling. Like it was coming out the back of his suit. And, um, I was chatting on Instagram with, uh, I believe it was vintage venture co. And she said, just try to list them anyway. And I'm like, you know what? Okay. There are collectors out there. I'm going to try to list this guy. So again, this is a Howard Gale, Santa, a pink Santa, tons of discoloration, the crumbling, everything else. This guy still sold for $77 plus shipping. I did, um, I did start him out at $40 in auction. So next item that sold is this Coca-Cola Santa doll. He sold for $50 plus shipping, kind of like a Barbie Santa almost. Um, oops. And next, this one recently sold uh, in auction for $10.50. I started him at $10. He's not branded. Um, I just tried to describe him the best way I could. His face was kind of made of like something that a vintage like Halloween mask would be made out of, like a plastic material almost. And then next, uh, and these I just shipped out today, these sold, the, the brand was Billy Peppers. And I believe that they were kind of um, like blank dolls that you could customize. So someone basically made these, they're like one of a kind. Um, I swear that lady almost looks like Goldie Hawn though. <laughs> Doesn't she? I swear that doll looks like Goldie Hawn, the female. Anyway, someone custom made, um, you know, either the person who owned the storage unit or maybe she purchased them. She custom made them. Uh, so really cool. These sold for $30 plus shipping to a viewer. As a matter of fact, these sold to Britta. So thank you very much for your purchase. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and then lastly, also shipped this one out today. This did not even make it to camera. I found this in a, a different box um, at the bottom. This is a Jemmy um, abom Abominable Snowman. Uh, this guy, again, I put a video in here. He works. Um, let's see if we can play this video without enlarging it. Cause I, no, well, it's gonna enlarge anyway. But anyhow, here we go. So it always helps to put video in, um, in your listing to show that something works. So yeah, that was super cool. So one other item I had that was really cool that actually got taken down, um, kind of like a Vero. I mean, I didn't get in any trouble for it or anything, but someone had taken, um, like an elf on the shelf and customized it. So she was all pink. Super cool looking, super, super cool. I don't, oh, I have her right here. I can show you guys, look at her. Um, making sure she's in the thing here. I'm not, I, I don't usually do the screen sharing with my myself in the thing, but anyway, super cool. Let's see if I can get a close up of her. Like even her hair is painted pink. Her whole outfit. I don't know how this person did this, but she got taken down um, because it's a violation and they are, the elf on the shelf people are really serious about their elves. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this gal. She's super cute. I would love to sell her. Um, so yeah, I just, I don't know. She's still just hanging around here. Maybe she'll be like part of my Christmas decor. <laughs> hey, I finally have something for Halloween up there the um well you can't see it right now but when i first started the video there is like a black cat with some flowers that actually came out of one of the bins from this unit and i thought it was pretty cool so i'm going to use it till halloween so all right guys 
that is going to wrap up this video now. Alrighty guys, so that is gonna wrap up this update video. Um, I just wanted to do this because I had some people, um, some new viewers uh, to the video, you know, commenting about how much the Santas are worth and this and that. Um, oh, and I do actually have uh, one more Rushton Santa still for sale. He, I have, um, I have him at Buy It Now and he's got his little Coke bottle and everything. So I'm thinking that closer to Christmas, he's going to sell. So, um, you know, he's definitely not as rare as the pink one, but he should still do okay. Anyway, so yeah, I think I've made a pretty spectacular profit on the, uh, the few items I've sold already. Uh, well, a little more than few, but I think maybe seven, eight, uh, I don't know, something like that. So anyway, like I said, I still have some stuff that I have to decide where I want to uh, list it or if I want to take it to the flea market or what I want to do. So anyway, thanks for watching the update video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.